We've talked a lot about the political scandal that Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin got himself into, but we have not heard the alleged smoking gun, the secret recording made by conservative activist Michael Quinn Sullivan. Our next guest, though, has listened to that. Dallas Republican and former state rep Jason Vialba went to Austin last week to hear it. Good morning, man. Good to see you. Great to see you. Great to be back. But let's talk about uh, you and Michael Quinn Sullivan. I didn't think you were best of buds. How did all this come come about? You know, we always had our differences during the time that I was in the legislature, but afterwards we've become friendly. Uh, I always admired his fight. He admired mine, and so we have a mutual admiration, sometimes love-hate relationship. So you went to Austin to listen to this last week. Based on what you heard, I think the, the big deal is whether the speaker might have violated House ethics rules. Based on what you heard, what do you think? Well, the question centers on whether or not there was a quid pro quo. That's what is alleged. I don't believe I heard that. I heard a bid. Let's offer up the credentials for the House, and then I did not hear the ask. What's being reported is that these 10 members are being targeted, but that's not how I heard the tape. And, and to lay it out, we've talked a lot about this on the program, but for people who haven't necessarily followed every single nugget of this, Michael Quinn Sullivan met in the chambers with House Speaker Dennis Bonin right behind the House uh, in the Speaker's office. And what's being reported is that Michael Quinn Sullivan went in there and the Speaker said, hey, I'll give you press passes to get on the floor of the House if you take care of these 10 members that we don't necessarily like, 10 Republican House members. And you didn't hear that, huh? I did not hear that. You know, Speaker Bonham was well-intentioned. He's trying to shore up the Republican base going into November. It's going to be a very tough race. His request was, look, we're going to have a situation where we're going to need all of our resources in November. And so, please, if you're going to attack in February or March during the primary season, then here are 10 people that have not necessarily been team players. These are the ones that you can pick and choose from. You listened to that recording with a current member of the Texas House. Describe that person's reaction to what he heard. Well, I no longer have uh, skin in the game, but the person I was with is a member of the House. When he heard the tape, uh, I could see the dejection. I could see uh, the disappointment in the institution, right? Most of us go into serving in the legislature uh, with great pride about what we are doing for the people of Texas. To see that some of the tawdry underbelly might be as ugly as we've heard uh, is disappointing. I know he was disappointed, and I, I have great uh, compassion for his uh, concerns. Speaker Bonin obviously has time on his side. The question is, can he rebuild the support among the rank-and-file Republicans? Do you think he can survive politically? Can well, I, think survive his, this? I think his lieutenants will certainly continue to support him. I talked to several of them. They will stand by him, as they should, rally around their leader. But I think the rank-and-file members, people uh, who are not chairman, are going to struggle when they hear this tape. The tape will ultimately come out. Uh, the politics of it are very significant, and I think many members uh, will opt for a different direction. As well, note that we're going to have a closer uh, uh, spread between the Republicans and Democrats in the next House. It's 12 now. Okay. It's likely to shrink. Yeah, so re Republicans have a 12 member a 12 advantage member right lead now. right yeah. now. Right. And, and 10 seconds left. How big of a deal is this whole thing? Is this in the weeds or is this a big deal? Well, if I think for people that are watching from the outside, it might be inside baseball. But for people who follow the legislature, people like me and you who care about what is happening in Austin, this is a significant. This is a scandal that ranks uh, up there with some of the bigger ones that we've seen. Um, oh. It doesn't involve personal situations, but here's one where people I think are going to be uh, disappointed in leadership. All right, Jason Viaba, Dallas Republican and former state rep. Good to see you again, man. Wonderful to be back. Thanks.